a swing and a miss. But, ah, uh, there we go. All right, now we've got it. All right, Bluebell, any minute now and I'll be able to take down the rest of the trees we need to go ahead and repair the barn, and then you'll be able to be nice and cozy. Oh, yay, and we found some more of the little harvest sprites. Hopefully, we'll be able to entice one of the big ones out to visit with us soon. But hang in there, Bluebell. Oh, I know, is this tree on the way now, too? Oh, she's so cute. I can't wait to be able to give her a home so she's not going to be stuck out in the rain anymore. But hello everyone and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, where we are trying to do our best to make a nice and cozy field for our little lost orphan cow, Bluebell. <gasps> Yay! And we just ended up with an upgrade to our skill on logging. Let's see. Logging material gain increased by one. Yes! And logging will use a little bit less energy now, which would be absolutely fantastic. Because we still need to get like 12. 12! Hang on, almost there. Phew. Yes! Oh my goodness, we just need this last tree trunk. Perfect, Bluebell, we're gonna be able to get you your home in no time. And, ta-da! Wonderfully done. All right, so now we just need to wait for the logging machines to be ready, and then we can work on getting more of the solid logs that we need to repair the barn. But we're doing pretty good. A good way to start off the morning. So, like I said, guys, welcome back to Mossley Farm here in Olive Town, where I'm pretty excited about how we're exploring this new part of our land, this little food forest that actually has a whole bunch of little ponds that might have treasure hiding at the bottom of them. <gasps> What's this? A butter burr? It looks so cute. A wild plant that sprouts once winter's chill begins to thaw. Oh, I love being able to find all of these wild harvests tucked away, hidden under all of the grasses here. Oh, yay! Oh, wonderful! We just got another new title! We're really stretching our skills this morning. So, reaping material gain increased by two. Yay! Alright, that'll get us even more of the grass that we need a little faster. Okay. So, more flexi grass. We need to have 50 pieces of this flexi grass in order to weave together some of the parts of the barn that Bluebell needs. There we go. But I think we'll do pretty well. Also, one of the cool things that actually is over here on this part of our farm is that there is another mine. We've already apparently discovered the bottom of the oh, purifying lakes. <gasps> do we have a polluted lake on our land? You can drain water from lakes, but it'll take a long time to do with a bucket. Setting a suction pump by a hollow lake will efficiently drain away water whenever it fills back up. What? Oh my gosh! <gasps> what are these? Oh, you guys! Oh my word, look at how beautiful these flowers are! Oh, I love being able to find all these little wild discoveries here. Oh, there's even more beautiful flowers here! Oh, this is so lovely. No, butterfly, come back. Come back, come back. I want to get you a there. Oh, wow. What a beautiful land we have. I love this. It's just so enchanting. I would love like to collect a couple of these flowers too and see what they are. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just pick one. I hate to pick them, but I can't help it. Oh, area sewing. What? You can now use the area sow skill, which will allow you to sow up to nine seeds at once. Yes, so I guess we gained more experience from like handling all of the crops. Wait, wait, a sprinkler? Okay, I know I saw pictures for it, but I completely forgot about it. We could just make ourselves a sprinkler? You've unlocked the recipe for the sprinkler. When placed in the fields, the sprinkler will automatically water all crops surrounding it each morning. Oh my gosh, what do I need for that? All right, so we have Adept Harvester is our new, let's see, do we have like a harvest? No, that's a title we unlocked. Okay, and I think that's maybe from having field work. Range seed sowing is now available. And then if we came over and looked, oh, there's so much more stuff we can craft all of a sudden. Mortar? I can craft mortar? And there's like a stone box made out of stones? And a seasoning maker to convert rock salt, peppercorn, and sugarcane into salt, pepper, and, 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 and sugar? What? Okay, and then there's a mortar fence. If you link several of them together, you can make an enclosure. 
An essence maker. This concentration, this contraption automatically converts flowers, wildflowers, and fruits into essences. Insert a flower, wait a little bit, and voila! Up to 20 can be set at a time. We have a torch we could go ahead and make now. We've got a thread maker? My, my mind is blown. What on earth would we do with a thread maker? And then here we are! So we can have to, up to a hundred sprinklers at a time. We need iron and silver that has been processed into its purest form. Wow. Okay, and then we need powder material to make coffee beans, cocoa, chili peppers, wheat, and herbs into powdery seasonings. Oof, okay, this, there's a lot more than I thought there would be already. And that, all that knowledge just gained from plucking up a flower. Wow. Okay. Um, we might have wanted to do a little bit more exploring before all of this. Oh, what's this? This is another new thing. Oh, we just got peppercorn. If I ship it, will we be able to like unlock peppers? Because that would be amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. And see, then we've also got this like other cave right over here that we could go ahead and go into. There's a whole bunch. Are those stra- those are strawberries. There were wild strawberries. Is, is that bamboo? Oh my gosh, is this another? If we had solid lumber, silver ingot, and mortar, we can expand our farm again? What? Is there another dilapidated? There's another dilapidated building. It's huge. Grandpa, what on earth were you doing here? How have I not bothered to explore our farm yet? Because this is amazing. There's so much stuff. I need a bigger bag. I need a bigger bag. This is not gonna work without a bigger bag. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh my word. Okay, there's a lot to do, friends. I thought that we were just kind of taking it chill. Turns out there's actually a ton that we need to do on our farm. It's full of all sorts of hidden treasures. And today, if we do our if we do this right, we should at least be able to get Bluebell all set up. And then we also still need to water our crops, so I do need to remember that. And we have enough flexi grass from Bluebell now! Bluebell, yay! Okay, I'll be right back in a little bit, Bluebell. Because we need to wait until we can actually go ahead. I already let Henrietta out for the day. We do need to wait until we can go ahead and collect those grasses. Alright, what am I going to put away over here? The buttercup, for sure. If I ship it, can I buy seeds for the buttercup? Because that would be really useful. All right, we'll put those away. I need all of my solid logs to turn into... All right, don't need to carry the iron ore around anymore to turn into the solid lumber. Uh, I have shellfish soup. Now I've got a couple peppercorn. Solid lumber I'm collecting. So let's carry with us the iron ingots and the solid lumber because I think we're very close to being able to repair bluebells. Oh, pick up, please. Yes, we just need to get the lumber, and then we will be able to go ahead and repair Bluebell's house! Fantastic! Alright, and then while we're at this, let's go ahead and put away... There we go. Take out the watering can. And we do have a bunch of money today, so now I'm kind of torn. I think we want to upgrade maybe the hammer. Because the hammer... We're going to need to upgrade the hammer, I think, with iron ingots. Oh, so I do want to keep processing those iron ingots. That's right. Yeah, we'll upgrade the hammer first because we need to keep collecting these ingots in order to upgrade materials or upgrade our tools. And to do that, we need to get deeper in the mines. Heck! Not to mention, it would be so great just to have sprinklers taking care of this for us. The day goes by so fast, I want to be able to spend some of it with the villagers. <gasps> Speaking of the village, I need to go and grab some of the wonderful, wonderful turnip seeds. And go get some turnip seeds from in the village. Oh yay, and now we have another tulip. I can either save that to get essence, or I can go ahead and maybe give it to people as a gift. I think gifting a few tulips sounds wonderful. Alright, and we'll go ahead and collect a few more. Hello, little butterfly. Sorry I'm taking the tulip you probably want. I promise it's for a good purpose. Oh, out of water. Okay, I'll water a couple more of these and then we'll go ahead and we will actually run back into town to grab maybe some more turnips. 
I just really love growing the turnips. And I grew a giant turnip, so I must be fairly good at it. And then when we come back, we should be able to go ahead. Oh no. Oh no. No! Oh my gosh, what is wrong with... <laughs> there we go. When we come back, I should be able to go ahead and actually upgrade Bluebell's little barn. Then we could start getting milk from her. And that's probably going to be really useful. All right, let's pull this up. I'm going to be covered in dirt and mud and leaves sticking out every direction when we go visit with everybody today. But at least they'll know that I'm working hard to take care of the land that has been given to me. Okay, good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots, and we can always till up more for turnips. Okay. Um. Oh, do I want to sell some of these turnip or these tulips? Let me see. Sixty-six gold. Sixty-six is actually a pretty good amount, isn't it? Shellfish soup is only for seven. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll sell two of the turnip or the two of the tulips, just to cover costs and expenses a little bit. <sighs> Such a struggle. I really, 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 really want to get a little puppy to help us explore so badly. Oh, hey, everybody's all, all headed into the animal shop today? The town has only changed a little bit, but that first step is arguably the most important. Heck! Apparently everyone's really happy about the town changing. Are they closed Tuesdays? Really? My turnips! They're closed Tuesdays! Is everybody just like having a party at the pet place? I think everybody's having a party at the pet place. Ooh. It's nice to see the town get cleaned up. <laughs> oh, what would tourists like, you think? Freshly caught fish? Manuela, you are a woman of passions. One passion, I should say. Fish. Very passionate about the fish she is. Alright, well let's keep going on up. We'll see what the requests are today. Oh, hey, everybody. You know what? Like, Simon and his wife, Jesse really get around a lot. We see them all over the place. At first, your old grandpa was mighty clumsy when planting his crops. Whenever he sowed the wrong seeds, he'd use his hammer to get them back. <laughs> this is some nice weather we're having. Hey, Cindy. Uh -huh. Trees only grow fruit in certain seasons, right? If I was a farmer, I would keep a tree for every season. That way, I'd always have something growing. Cindy, you are a very clever young girl. I approve. All right, let's come see what the requests are today. One iron ingot. Nigel, did you ever luck out? I'm gonna go have to get like another one, but there you go, friend. Ha ha. That actually gave us a bit of money too. Hmm. Maybe I should go ahead and get that pet. Oh, hey, it's the other kiddo. Woohoo, the road's all new and stuff. All right, maybe it does look kind of nice. I wonder when the mayor's gonna ask us if we want to do something else too. Is this one also closed Tuesdays? No, this is Nigel's handy shop, not the pet store. Hey, Nigel. Hello. All right, actually, I don't want farm facilities. I would like, if I expanded my house, what would you need actually? A more homey abode. Comes with a larger decorating area and bigger fridge. Spacious enough for two pets. Oh, uh -huh, two pets, you say? Hmm. Let's see. Furniture. A bookshelf would be nice. Expensive, but nice. Um. Nigel, you're not the guy who helps me out with upgrading the tools. I forgot about that. That's going to be a little bit up here. And I think they're closed today! <laughs> Lemons. It's gotten a, bit, a little busier lately. Big changes are on the horizon for us, I'd wager. I mean, I'm doing my best, Clemens. I'm doing my best. I wonder how my motorcycle is. Or is this going to be the kind of slow-paced town life where my motorcycle is eternally doomed to be, like, in the... It's on the list. All right. Pet shops closed. Every, everybody's just, like, having book sales and book clubs or whatever today. Then, like, hard-working, honest farmers like myself can't get things done. Ah. <sighs> I suppose it's a sign. We'll go ahead and just work on trying to rescue a bluebell and explore the edges of our farm. And then maybe tomorrow we'll actually be able to go ahead and get ourselves a pet. Because I'm really starting to feel that pretty heavy right now. All right, solid lumber. 
Let's go ahead and get more of the iron ore going right over here. And then we'll go ahead and put this away and we'll sell the mayonnaise. I want to put away the peppercorn and the other things so that we can ship ourselves a strawberry today. Oh, I would love to do that. No, 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 come back here. Come back here, Butterbur. You're going in my fridge. You're a mysterious, like, leafy thing. And I shall first see if I can eat you before I go ahead and release you into the wilds of my shipping bin. <laughs> all right, put all that away. And then, gosh, I guess really the rest of it is just kind of exploring, maybe doing a little bit of bucket work. I've already watered everything for the day. I already have enough of... Yeah, I've watered everything for the day and I already have enough of the flexi grass. Enough of the iron ingots. Hey, Bluebell! And now we're just waiting on the very last of the solid lumber. <gasps> we just need one more piece of solid lumber and then we can rescue Bluebell. Yay, Bluebell! All right, while we wait for those, let's explore the farm. This is so exciting. So, oh, it's a sage plant. Yay! All right, maybe if we sell that. And a patch of wild strawberries. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I love strawberries. It looks like they're another one of those multiple foods where when you sell them, you actually end up with something that seems to be better. And sugar cane. <gasps> okay, we'll have to go ahead and maybe sell these. Oh, these are a different type of mushroom too. We had a totally other, like a totally different type of mushroom the other day and we'll try selling the peppercorn too and you know what maybe we should go ahead and just try selling oh no no my flower i can't okay we'll, we'll put away one of these tools all right away for now i am not gonna lose this flower there we go they're just way too pretty and i wonder when we can like make a pump i can't believe we were told like yes just go ahead and craft yourself a pump to excavate this pond Oof. Well, we'll find out eventually. Grandpa had a lot of land. I really want to try to give as much of it over to, like, the plants and animals as I possibly can. All right. And you know what? While we wait, friends, for the very last of the lumber to go ahead and be ready, we'll just go ahead and, um, we'll do a little teensy bit of fishing. Just to see what might be on offer. And then we've got a ton of interesting things to sell. All right, come on, little fish. All right, come on. Oh, 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 oh. oh, did I get it? Or, yay, a horse mackerel. Oh, wait, no, I, it's on the ground. <laughs> it was catch and release today, friends. Catch and release. All right, note to self. Definitely need to upgrade bag size. Got it. Huh. All right, well, let's go ship all of this stuff while we wait to be able to upgrade the dilapidated barm and rescue a little bluebell. The trees definitely grow extremely fast, so I won't feel very badly to sell several of them, it seems. And then we're going to split these mushrooms and sell one of them for now. I'm going to sell the sugar cane, and I'm going to sell one of the strawberry, because I think I can use the rest maybe as a fruit. And the horse macro we actually need to donate, don't we? We do have a couple donations. I'm going to sell the sage in case we can start growing it ourselves with a recipe. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell, oh, even though it's it's really hard for me, I'm going to sell one of our beautiful buttercups. All right. Just imagine having a little puppers running around the farm. I think that'd be a lot of fun. There. Wow, there's lots and lots of stuff now. Mixed soup, curry. Oh, I would love just to like, oh, 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 there we go, a fruit. <gasps> we just need to have the sugar for that. And then we'll be able to make all sorts of delicious fruit desserts. That sounds wonderful. Oh, just enchanting. I'm really proud of what we've accomplished. Apparently we're very clever. I like the idea that we're just doing like tons and tons of research all the time to try to figure out the best way to use all of these materials. Maybe we have a little field notebook 
and like access to some sort of cool little guide about how to build things and craft things that teaches us the blueprints for all of these makers we keep finding. All right. Bluebell, how you doing? Oh, these machines are so slow. <laughs> I should have done some cooking. Well, let's see, do I have more room? Oh, I do have more room for adventure. Oh, here's another one. Yes, now I have another piece of sage. And then we've got more flowers I can harvest. All right, come here, beautiful buttercups. Sorry, butterflies. Maybe I'll get the bucket out. Oh, look, more sugar cane. Yes. All right, oh, a pink cat flower. <gasps> Yay. There we go. And then what do we need? Let me actually get my little field notebook out so that I can see what we would need to go ahead and actually open up this area. So we would need more solid lumber, a lot more. Holy cow, 50? Okay, we'd need 50 of those. And then we would need 20 silver ingot. And then mortar we would need 50 of. And that's to open up mystery area, huh? All right, written down into my little field notes so that we'll remember that. And I guess the mortar, you actually make mortar by grabbing said bucket and then the clay. So you get clay from all of the puddles on the farm. And then somehow you actually get to turn that into and scoop and swish. There we go. Somehow you actually get to turn this clay into into mortar. Is that just a crafting thing I can do? Or do I need to like have a special maker for it? No, look at that. Just like that, we can go ahead and make ourselves four things of mortar. A gluey material made from clay. Once it hardens, it can be used in a variety of ways. Oh, look, like a little rugged road here. Wow, quite the variety of things we can do. All right, scoop and swish. Kind of hilarious that that's actually a skill. So, I mean, we've almost leveled up our draining skill. I wonder what other materials we could get from it. I did get a treasure once. All right. Oops, missed. How do you miss a puddle? Good question. All right, leveled up my skill. And water draining material increased by one. Nice, I guess that's a faster way to go ahead and get ourselves some water. Look at that. We're gonna have plenty to be able to clear away that spot in no time. And in fact, I wonder if it would make sense to go ahead and put a chest next to there so that we have a spot to store everything. Yes, a spot to store everything that we're gathering to uh, reclaim that area. All right, you guys, and here we go. We can repair the dilapidated barn. Bluebell, you have a home now. Oh, this is going to be called, let's see, Flower Glen. Because Bluebell has lived in a little flower glade. Whoops, no, no, no. <laughs> Bluebell has lived in a little flower glade for so long. So yeah, we'll call it Flower Glade. I like that idea go flower glade for bluebell and all of her future flower sisters yay a variety of animals can be raised in barns animals that are properly fed or taken out to pasture will produce milk and other byproducts some days later oh wow so they probably won't produce something every day the way that henrietta does and now we have a friendly cow a cute black and white cow. Cows have been popular sta a popular staple on farms since the olden days. Give it fodder and it'll produce delicious milk. Moo! Oh, Bluebell, welcome, welcome to Flower Glade. All right. And I'll try to get her some siblings quickly, too. There. I can't wait to name all of her other family members. <laughs> like something bell. Pink bell. Cow bell. There you go, Bluebell. And she's got a home, you guys! 
Yay! Generation 1 friendly and we got her on the 10th of spring. She's already feeling like she's she's doing great. Oh, wonderful. Well, all right, with our pockets full of mortar, sage, all sorts of beautiful blossoming flowers, and our wonderful cow finally tucked away safely into her barn, we've had an extremely busy day. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our vastly bigger than I thought farm. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.